Sussex burnt all bridges. Megan dished the dirt brushing off Kate and Sophie Wessex's assistance. Kate and Sophie Wessex's repeated attempts to help in the UK were rebuffed by Meghan Markle. Meghan Markle allegedly rebuffed Kate and Sophie's attempts to contact her after she expressed her dissatisfaction with the royal family. According to a royal source, after the Duchess of Sussex revealed her struggles with royal life in 2019, the Duchess of Cambridge and the Countess of Wessex repeatedly reached out to her. But the source claimed Kate and Sophie were both rebuffed. It follows allegations that Kate was cool with Meghan, which have been refuted by those close to the Duchess of Cambridge. A friend of the Duchess of Cambridge was quoted in the Daily Mail as saying, as individuals, they have nothing in common. But Catherine wanted to see Harry happy and felt she was very welcoming to Meghan. Meghan opened up about her royal struggles in a documentary that aired on ITV in October 2019 and was filmed during her and Prince Harry's tour of Southern Africa. She said, I've said for a long time to H, that's what I call him, it's not enough to just survive something, right? That's not the point of life. You've got to thrive, you've got to feel happy. I really tried to adopt this British sensibility of a stiff upper lip. I tried, I really tried. But I think that what that does internally is probably really damaging. Following their retirement from royal duties last year, the Sussexes have relocated to California. In their Oprah Winfrey interview earlier this year, Meghan claimed Kate made her cry ahead of her royal wedding. Meghan's claim comes after reports that she made Kate Middleton cry. Harry also opened up on his rift with his brother Prince William. He said, you know, as I've said before, I love William to bits. He's my brother. We've been through hell together. I mean, we have a shared experience. But, you know, we're on different paths. The relationship is space, at the moment. Time heals all things, hopefully. Harry and Meghan are living in the US as they pursue new lives of personal and financial freedom after quitting as working royals in March 2020. Recently, it ISS reported that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are not over the moon with their £11 million California mansion and are looking to move just 18 months after buying the property. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex bought the impressive home, located in the Montecito area of Santa Barbara County, as a place for children Archie, too, and Lilibet, six months to spend their childhood. However, the couple are said to be less than pleased with the luxury pad, which features a gym, swimming pool and tennis court. A source says the couple have started making inquiries into other houses, and have let it be known they are open to private offers, should the right one come along. They claimed, they are thinking of selling their house there. However, it won't be on the market because of who they are. It's only being shown to people who are confirmed with funds and are serious buyers. The Sussexes are said to like Montecito itself, which is also home to chat show queens Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres, and popular with Hollywood stars like Tom Cruise, but not their current setup. Our source added, they want to stay in the neighborhood or nearby but they aren't over the moon about the house and the location. Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40, dumped their UK residence Frogmore Cottage, in the Windsor Royal Estate, for the attractions of California when they quit royal life in March 2020. Frogmore is now being used by Harry's cousin Princess Eugenie, 31, and husband Jack Brooks Bank, 35, who welcomed their first child, son August, last February. The Sussexes bought the U.S. property from Sergei Grishin in June 2020. The Russian businessman had purchased the home in 2009 for nearly £19 million.